The AFE, the Alliance for Family Entertainment, our big initiative this year is uh, See Her, hashtag See Her. And um, because we are part of the ANA, the Association for uh, National Advertisers, we're, we're part of a trade association. And so fundamentally at our core, the purpose is to improve the marketing profession, to uh, improve the excellence within marketing, and to improve uh, the impact that marketing has uh, the footprint of marketing, if you will, and uh, that it has on society at large and on customers. And obviously marketing uh, predominantly is very tied into brands and companies, and uh, they're looking to uh, improve their marketing so that they can do better as a business. The Alliance for Family Entertainment has been around for a couple of decades and uh, was really, uh, its, its initial mission was to support and to encourage more and better programming for families to view. And uh, this year we've really focused on See Her, which is really all about the accurate portrayal of women and girls in media. And the reason that we've done that is that the data show that, number one, parents are dissatisfied. The vast majority of parents are dissatisfied with the content that's available for uh, families to view. And uh, the number one issue within that is the portrayal of women and girls. And they believe that it's uh, either negative or uh, is, is not representative of the diversity that actually exists in families, in society at large. And with 90% of, uh, of parents agreeing that that's the, the number one issue. So what we decided to do this year is let's just focus on that initiative and uh, we've been really pleasantly surprised by one, the reaction of our members, uh, 40 plus of the top marketers in America, but also um, as we've talked to other constituencies, how much they've really wanted to see this uh, come to life. And we're just at that point now where we're pivoting into actually taking action to make sure that uh, we all go and do something so that you know next year is different than this year. The core idea of See Her is uh, a better portrayal of women and girls. You know, we, I think we're aware of examples where we, there's just a poor representation of women. Um, we're not as focused on that. What we're trying to show marketers is that by eliminating their unconscious bias, they can do better. And we have great data that shows that they can do better in representing women and girls. That's one. The other camp is just almost ignoring women and uh, that's partially why it's called see her is that actually just including women and the diversity of women in your marketing the content that you directly make as a marketer or the content that you support with your marketing media dollars that uh, you can do better and the reason that this initiative I think is uh, uh, got so much momentum right now is that it's it's good for your customers um, which you know increasingly over the years we as marketers have uh, become much more aware that you know the customer is the boss um, so it'll help us to build better more engaged customer uh, base uh, it's good for the ROI of your marketing spend and that's something with a lot of pressure in the marketing community right now from businesses that are under a lot of uh, performance pressure themselves is important to marketers and then finally it's good for our industry for our profession and for the culture at large and so when you see something where it's kind of a win-win-win like that you've got a great opportunity for people to uh, do the right thing but also to do it in a way that has a bigger impact on on everybody including their own performance. So the first content that we're, we're focused on is actually advertising, whether that be video that shows up in digital areas or in, uh, for example, uh, television advertising, linear. And um, what we're saying is we've, got, we've developed the gender equality metric. We've now tested 4,000 television ads uh, using this metric. And what we've seen is there's not only a great opportunity for marketers to improve the impact of that content that they support, but there's a direct business impact that comes from them actually doing that. So, you know, we've, we've got ads, examples of ads that are very good and ads that aren't good, and we've been able to show there's a business impact associated with that. So the first thing is putting toolkits in the hands of marketers to say, by becoming conscious of uh, this issue of gender equality in your own content, you can improve the quality of the content that you're producing. And then, like I said, uh, secondarily, the content where your uh, advertising shows up, what you're adjacent to, the ads that, or the content that uh, your ads are being shown in, also has a big impact on the ROI of, of your uh, marketing, which we've known that for years. The Alliance for Family Entertainment has funded many studies over the years to say the context 
within which your ad is appearing also matters a lot. And so what we, what we the Alliance for Family Entertainment, are doing is we're putting uh, tools in the hands of marketers so that their marketing to the customer, to uh, the culture, is uh, improved significantly. And we've, and we've got very specific goals around what we're trying to achieve as an industry on that front. I can tell you something that's emerged a couple of years ago um, when the ANA funded the Marketing 2020 initiative and a gentleman named Mark Deswan uh, actually did that research was that there were three big things that marketers needed to be good at um, as we looked at the year 2020. What does the marketing profession need to be good at? And one of those things was purposeful positioning. And, and a number of years ago, you know, two, three years ago, I think you really saw that emerge at this ANA conference that more and more brands were really taking on a higher purpose than just the functionality of what their brand did. And uh, even today, I've seen so many examples on the screen here of brands that have taken on incredible things uh, from a storytelling standpoint, values of the culture, that really adds an additional layer of purpose to their brand. So purpose-based branding. And then the thing that I'm seeing this year, especially already, is the need for, for the industry, for the marketing profession to be seen as being doing something good and valuable to society. Um, I think those of us who have worked in the marketing profession and uh, are driven by data. We know the impact that marketing can have. We know that how powerful marketing can uh, be if it's done well. Um, but that hasn't necessarily always translated into the broader, uh, uh, the broader culture, seeing marketing as a noble profession. And uh, just as recently as this morning's uh, Mark Pritchard talk, you know, he really talked about the importance for us as marketers to step up our game for the, for the benefit of our businesses, but also so that the profession is seen as noble and that the marketing industry is seen as uh, being a real value add to society.